Well, we're going to go ahead and get the meeting started. Uh, we will start with the Pledge of Allegiance, and we'll ask our invocation with Commissioner Patton, if you would please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Holy Father in Heaven, we come before you this evening in a humble manner, thanking you for this day and the life and health that we enjoy. We pray, Father, for our country and for our state and our city, in all cities and all locations. During this time of pandemic, we pray, Father, that level heads will prevail and health might be maintained and that regular life might return soon. We pray, Father, you'll bless us this night as we assemble here to discuss the business of the city of Beaverdam. Bless us with wisdom and patience and knowledge to make the best decisions for the citizens of our community. Go with us tonight and all through our life. Forgive us when we fail thee in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Welcome everyone with us tonight. This is kind of new, so we're going to see how this works out for everybody. Um, I will say this, the auditor has our, had our books completed, the audit completed. He's going to call my cell phone at about 6.30 to do a uh, conference call with us. So uh, we may have to interrupt the meeting here a little bit, 6.30 or so. Other than that, we'll go ahead and get started. And the first item is the bills. Make a motion to pay the bills. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Question? Mm -hmm. Uh, we didn't meet in April, but we did in March. We don't have any March minutes to approve. We didn't have meetings in March. Do what? We didn't have meetings. Okay, with the last month we had, we would have had some for the previous month. Yeah, we did meet in March. I thought that was how we did meet in March. April, we didn't meet, we did. oh, we didn't meet in April. That's right. So, do we not have anything in March meetings to approve? We can approve those unless you just wanted to approve everything like we did last month under the state of emergency. Well, we well we probably still need so to approve the approve March that. minutes. If, yeah, we get that next month in retrospect, but I thought we might want to look at that. Well, we can go ahead and do it now. Is it in the packet? Mm -hmm. It's all in our packet. Yeah. March minutes weren't in our packet. I sent a packet out last month. Expect me to keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it wasn't in. Okay, I'll put it up. I have mine, but I didn't bring it. <laughs> okay, I have probably at home somewhere. I'll make a motion to approve the March minutes. Uh, second. <laughs> motion approved and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify that. Aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, old business. First item is the drilling of the new well. Larry? I want to get session to discuss. Okay. Well, it'd be land, uh, land acquisition. Okay. Uh, approve the amended resolution for municipal road aid. It's item number two. to move to approve the amended resolution for this way. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Aye. Both same. Motion passes. We're going to skip down under due business to item number two, approve the advertising bid for asphalt in place. Mary, do we have a bid? Yes, this will just be for the, um, the price for the next fiscal year. Just to advertise, to accept the bids right now. I'll make, I'll make a motion we advertise to get the bids, please. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Approve the renewal of the City Hux Agreement. I spoke with Troy this afternoon. They are willing to renew for another year. No changes on either end. Um, I'll make a motion we accept second. renewal agreement. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is to advertise for a labor position. Sanitation truck. I'm sanitation making labor. Sorry. Are you advertising for a labor or are you advertising for a truck driver? We are advertising for a labor. We have two gentlemen at the shop that are willing to go take the test. 
or until the core, until they open up for testing. They're not only shut down for the month of May. So. Right. Is that an increase in their pay if they get their D? Uh, you get it, their never has, it never has been in the past, but I'm going to ask for a 50 cent raise. For a CDL license? For CDLs. I make a motion that we advertise for that position. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is to advertise for a tourism director. Uh, I do know the Tourism Commission did meet last week. Uh, they did at request and are moving forward to replace Joe Beth, who resigned position back in March. They didn't have a March meeting, so they are changing a lot of the job description of that. Not so much with concerts, still some, but of course the pay rates and will be reflected in that as well. But we need to approve to advertise for that since it does come under the city. I make a motion that we approve to advertise for tourism director. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. I will say too, Mary, did you get a phone call from someone today about the? I did not. Okay. We've been talking with someone trying to get a set where we can do all of our uh, job applications where they can apply online and not have to come in and pick up an application and then not have to come in to return one. So that's something they told me we could have it set up and running by the end of this week. So. Do you know when we would be able to see the d job description? Uh, yeah. I just got to get it to you. Okay. I don't have it with me. They were wanting the position to uh, be more community oriented. And, and, you know, we've got, when it first started out, we were doing stuff, of course, with the concerts, and they, they take a different level of dealing with the managers and the management companies and the contracts and stuff. And we just felt that we needed to do something a little different on that. And uh, this kind of provided us, afforded us the opportunity when uh, we're needing to change the position. So that's something we were kind of looking at more, working more with the community and the business community. Sounds good. Okay. Mike, do you have anything? Uh, since we last met, uh, I'm sure y'all are aware we lost one officer, uh, Paul Burden. He went to WKU uh, campus police. Uh, he had two kids that was going to college and they get half off their tuition while they're there if you're an employee there. So he went there, plus his hazardous duty there. Uh, in the mean, meantime, we had, I think most of all of you probably know, we've hired uh, one officer uh, while we was under state of emergency, uh, uh, Jeremy Hunter. Uh, he is uh, in the process of moving, he's rented a, a leased an apartment over here on the other side of the fire station. Uh, he's got uh, 16 plus years of experience uh, bringing to us. I was got acquainted with him when I worked as a sheriff department in the county. He was on uh, the South Central Kentucky Drug Task Force. Uh, that's how I got to know him. Uh, super nice guy, polite, well mannered, good officer. Uh, so that's already been taken care of. He was sworn in last week. Uh, we have another officer uh, to make our sixth person. His name is James Sparks. He's from Muhlenberg County. He's got 14 years of experience. Uh, both of them have been out of the law enforcement for a few years. Uh, all we have to do is at Richmond send them for two weeks. Uh, one of them is uh, basic officer skills, the other one is penal code and constitutional update, which is two weeks. And uh, they're certified, they're, they're good to go to work now. Uh, they just won't get their cleft money until they get those two weeks done. So that's kind of where, where we're at on that. So uh, I think Paul's already approved. I'm, I'm, under, yeah, well, I'm going to ask him to go ahead and, and ahead kind of redo that again here tonight. but. Uh, and, then approved. Jeremy started on the third of March, of May, third of May. Uh, James Sparks he starts the thirty first of this month. And the reason for that, he was going to we was going to do a two week notice, uh, but uh, holidays fell on his two weeks, so 
I've been seeing since the start to after the holiday week. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking that you all would put uh, heart in them. Make our seven call. I did speak with our other, the other uh, young man that uh, was scheduled to go to page two. This virus came up, he wasn't able to do it. So I did speak to him, told him, you know, he understood. He said, you know, he got to do what's best for the department. And I told him we were still interested down the line. You know, not give up, just keep trying. Uh, wasn't just like we just going to it down, forget about it. So, but he understood. I think from conversations with Mike, we could have been looking at what a year and a half, possibly as much as two years, oh, yeah. before we could have ever gotten him. Yeah, we, we, we've been very fortunate. It takes a long time. Accredited, so I mean, I hate it. And well, it's, it's going to be probably. I talked to him at Richmond. They said it would probably well be a, well up into next year before uh, any new classes would be scheduled. So they still got classes scheduled. They got the next class to graduate in like six weeks. So they're not talking about starting the academy back after 4th of July. So there'd be three more behind them, and then I'm sure there's classes that's already scheduled to, to start. So it's going to be next year sometime. So that's kind of where we're at on it. And have to prove, uh, okay, well, to okay. we did go ahead and hire Jeremy Hunter, like I say, under the uh, state of emergency last yeah, month. We spoke, we spoke with all of you all and got your approvals on it, but I would like to go ahead and. You uh, want to have both of them in one motion. Do them separate. I move to approve Jeremy Hunter as police officer. Hard. Second. We have a motion and second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by the aye. Opposed, same. Motion. Also, I'd like to, sorry. <laughs> motion passes. I'd also like to uh, nominate James Sparks. Is that James, Sparks. James Sparks for a position of policeman here in Beaverdale. We have a motion and second to uh, employ James Sparks for another police officer position. Uh, any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Mike, do you anything else? Dave? Yeah. Larry? I know some of yours is closed session, too. Hmm? Okay. You don't need to approve the change on Second Street where we're doing all the construction down here. With the, We've had a lot of issues with traffic exiting 2nd Street, turning onto Main Street. So we're proposing changing that to a one-way coming Just in off Main coming Street. Coming in is the only way you can come in, right? For, for, the, for, two, for yeah, two blocks. Two We're going to have it only one way if you're coming from the north and not coming from the south, kind of cross traffic. Oh, they can still turn left. Okay. Both, yeah, it just, it's, it's just one way in. There's only thing change we're making. Okay. It's wonderful. We want to, like we said earlier. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't realize that. that so. But yeah, that won't, we won't affect 231 traffic, Main Street okay. traffic, north or southbound, just coming in onto Second Street. With all of the extra stuff we have going on down here now, uh, it's a safety concern because we can only put yellow stripes and back traffic up the sidewalk so far, <laughs> and it's just it's just it's all tight right there. So we need a motion. How yeah, we need a motion to change yes. Second Street to one way coming from east and one way west. west. Yeah. Up to Broad Street, is yeah. that right? Yes. Now second that motion. Go from Maine to Broadway. 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 We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. When will this take effect? We need to be able to put signs. Hopefully by the 22nd of May. Yeah. Okay, can we change it to signs? That's two weeks. Oh, not quite two weeks. Do you have the signs already? No, we don't. Got the manholes yet for the yes, road? Yes, sir. Thank you. But well, then advertise, you know, on every place you can that it's going to change. I'll put a notice up somewhere. Yeah, and we'll do signage as well. We'll actually be getting two, two extra parking places on Main Street and approximately 20 to 25 here on 2nd Street up to the main parking. Oh, for, that's For great. downtown businesses. So. That's a plus. Okay. Okay. Larry? Yeah, I got one other thing here while we're waiting on a phone call for an audit. Uh, talked to Walt Beasley Friday after you had your budget packet in your hand, and he insinuated to me that they're gone before Public Service Commission for a rate increase, and ours is projected to go up 21 to 26% for wholesalers. So he said that could take effect by September, October of this year. 
if that happens, we will definitely have to adjust our rates because we, we buy directly from the water district. Is it going to be for all municipalities? Have you, did you say anything about that? Pardon? All municipalities going to be equal? Uh, all wholesale buyer, all, all wholesalers, which is us, the city of Fordsville and Center Town will be the same. And they're also projected to go up on their customers as well at the same percentage rate. Mm -hmm. Can I ask what their reasoning was? Because don't they have a surplus of money right now? Uh, that would be a question for the water district. But you didn't see the article in the paper? I did not. Well, he had quoted Walt saying they haven't had a rate increase in about 10, 12 years or something like that. And uh, their, their expenses were exceeding many times they're what coming in. They may have something in the bank, but the, what they're paying out every month is not equal to what they're bringing in. So he said he's trying to justify that they don't want to deplete their account of the reserve trying to pay all their bills. If all that works out right, it, it sounds reasonable, but 26% on, on us is going to hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't think, well, I don't want to talk about it. It's okay. I can, I can talk all night all the way over get, get madder and madder, but it ain't going to do me any good. Well, of course, that's one of the things we're going to be discussing here later after we right, do have right. our close session on the, uh, drilling some wells. We, we've got how many wells right now? We've got uh, two wells in production. Two wells in production, and we're looking at one or maybe two more, trying to lessen our dependence on the county water district. We'll never get away totally, but the more water we can get from a wells like that, the less we can keep ours down, price the cost down, I hope. But uh, it will be something we'll have to look at, and people are just going to have to realize it's not something that the city can have, can help or do anything about. It's strictly passing on what's being put to us. Did the county let you know? Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Larry, is there, um, when, you, when you talked to Walt, did you have any further discussion about the contract? Or? No. So the issues that came up relative to the old one, that this is simply a rate increase before the Public Service Commission. That is correct. That is correct. Did they indicate to you as to when we would know? If uh, by September or October this year. By September or October of this year. And Paul, there's not there's not questions, but they're talking about the expenses. So you might want to reiterate just for those watching on Facebook that there's likely to be an increase? Oh, on the water? Yes. Yeah, we will, if, if we get a 21 to 25% rate increase from the county, it will definitely have to be a rate increase the city will have to pass on for our water users. Now, that will just affect water. That won't affect your sewer or your uh, regional wastewater surcharge because all that's a percentage of your gallons. It's a different set price. So that shouldn't be affected at all. It would just affect the water cost. Do you have anything else? That's all I have. James, you have anything? No, no, it's probably. Sandy? Uh, no, I don't. Trying nothing right now. Kevin? It's been quiet because nobody's been doing anything. I will say, I did say where the baseball's going to open up. What is it, June 10th, June 11th, something like that? I'm not sure on the Little League. I think the Little League back to the camp for the year. I thought they were trying to do something starting in junior. That it was about this. This I haven't talked to Jake White about it. I'm not sure. I know we've had uh, two different individuals call about leasing rent the fields. I think for, uh, for the middle of June and. Oh, well, maybe that's what I was getting at. Maybe yeah. that's what it was. There's a couple three tournaments already scheduled. What about the tournament we had scheduled for every month from like April to? That's, that's one of the gentlemen I was called. Yeah. Okay. He's got them scheduled for when right now? His is. Uh, was it June 20th or 21st? No, oh, there is one on the 20th. And then he's looking at a July 4th weekend. Well, did he not go ahead and schedule one for August and September? I gave him days he had to get back to Because I knew that was when we were kind of working around concert dates. And that's something, of course, right now, our next concert, as far as the full concert with the Tourism Commission, is scheduled for July 25th. That's the 80s. Rocks the Dam. And we haven't heard anything back on that. We 
did get on the Tanya Tucker on May 30th and then the Cash and Crowns for June, uh, the artist contacted us and was looking at and had some uh, available dates if we were to postpone. So we went ahead and postponed those at the time just because we were able to get some available dates and move it back, try to move it back later. So we're just kind of in a wait and see mode. Well, you're getting some good free publicity in that Geico commercial for that. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I've noticed that. <laughs> I that is, that is that. some great publicity for us right there. I'm serious. A.V., do you have anything? No. Well, we got a few more minutes. He should be calling just any time. He forgot us. I was talking attention to Geico commercials. I haven't seen yet. Yeah, this lady, they bought this beautiful house, and they said, but we have a rat problem, and it's not rats. It's the group rat singing oh. in their house. Okay, then I think I did hear that, but I didn't pay attention to it. That's the group that's coming in. Age rocks the down. I have to watch it a little closer. Yeah. I got bumped when I saw that. That was great. I will say, Dan, who's going to call, he did leave his, Amy did my, copy the information he brought. He usually brings us nice bound books, and we'll get those later, but she did copy the information and put it on everybody's desk. Oh, drain Yeah, Looked like we had a pretty good year, didn't we, Larry? Looked like we had a pretty good year. Unbalanced, at least went up. That's it. For those those watching, we've been talking about our water water rates and the increase we have coming for our year ending June of last 2019 fiscal year. Our water actually had a small loss for the year, so we're not getting rich off this. So. Hello. Hi, Mayor. Hey, Dan. How are, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Fine. Fine. I've got you on speakerphone. Okay. Can everybody hear? Yeah. Okay. We're ready to go, sir. Okay. Uh, do you all have copies of the tourism one? No, just the cities. Okay, just the city. Okay. It, basically, tourism is included in it anyway. Mm -hmm. I guess the main thing that's different about this one from Tourism On is we dropped that uh, finding on, on tourism not having any internal control because you know, obviously that's improved quite a lot. Um, I guess the first one of any real consequence might go over to page seven. Statement of revenues and expenditures? Uh, yes, and okay. that's the general fund and then the non-major funds. And you can see that uh, if you look down uh, net change in fund balance, that the general fund actually gained $344,233 last year. Okay. So when we get over to the budget comparison, I think you can see where that is. And then the page eight is that comparison of that to the government wide one. Page uh, page ten. If you look at uh, all three of those columns, if you see the actual operating, you know they all lost money. 
sewer, though, you almost have to go down to the loss before transfers to see that because that that grant revenue line, that $202,713, is considered a grant by the uh, Ohio County uh, Wastewater, but, you know, it's actually, for all practical purposes, it was a reduction in your uh, in your disposal expense. But still, even at that, if you look at the loss, all three of those lost money, total of the three lost $127,000 last year. And those are the ones that basically need to operate on their own. Uh, they should be self-sufficient. If you go over it on the cash flows on page 11, uh, sanitation gained almost $11,000, about halfway down. But the uh, the total, uh, actually cash overall, lost a decline by about $19,000. 12 is kind of meaningless. That's a, a payroll one that basically pairs itself out. Does anyone have any questions on the basic financial statements? Any questions, anybody? No, not so. Okay, let's go through the notes. Most of those uh, first ones are just kind of self-explanatory. Uh, let's see. Page 24 shows uh, capital assets, uh, governmental activities, principally the general fund. You can see that, that they increased in total about $654,944. A big part of that, of course, is, is the, the uh, building addition. Okay. And then you have the depreciation on it. And to end, capital assets, when you convert it to a business-like basis, is about $5.9 million. Then it shows the depreciation expense of 300000 Next page is the uh, proprietary. And... Uh, See, on those funds that we're talking about losing all that money, $168,000 of that is from depreciation. But, you know, even so, that, that is a legitimate expense. Right. Uh, then, then we've added um, another place at the bottom for tourism because, you know, it does have some equipment and fixtures now for the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, changes in long-term debt on page 26. Uh, no additions at all. Retired long-term debt. Governmental activities retired 167,000, and then the KIA loan retired almost 45,000. Then capital lease obligations uh, shows the minimum payments, 1,885. That's uh, basically that. Uh, uh, that is the uh, uh, Kentucky bond and so forth. Okay. Uh, property and then amphitheater. Under government lease, about $2 million in accumulated depreciation. 27 shows how those will all be paid off. Um, bottom of page 28 is when we get to that crazy long one on the pension. The pensions. And that runs yeah. all the way. <clears throat> that one runs all the way over to. Um, Basically, it goes to the bottom of page 38. Yeah. And from what we understand, that may not be the end to it. There may be some more things to add to it next year or the year after. Uh, page 39, notes, notes, and notes. Uh, page number 23 on page 40. Um, first part of that, first paragraph of that is, is pretty much consistent with what we've always done. Those next two paragraphs are... Uh, a little more specific to everything that's going on right now. And of course, I don't need to tell you the kind of struggles that state and local governments are having because of, of the virus, uh, but it's something that, it's a subsequent event and it's something that you know, has to be disclosed. There's no, uh, we're not booking anything in it just because we're not estimating any losses or anything from it, but, but it's important in these financial statements that that be uh, disclosed. And in your case, especially, uh, you know, Tourism has a, well, I think you'd agree, had a pretty direct effect from this. Oh, yes. Because it's, uh, 
you know, it's, it's pretty much ruined your whole year as far as having any kind of act or anything. Page 41, the budget comparison, you can see uh, the general fund and you know, how it uh, how it got the gain of 344,233 compared to budget. And the, uh, the revenues were about 2.1 million more than budgeted. And the expenditures were actually a million eight forty five nine eight four less. So uh, anyway, or actually they're they're one one million eight forty five nine eight four more. But the total expenditures then, uh, if you net all that together, the excess you're twenty two thousand four hundred thirty three dollars better off than you budgeted there. And then when you go through all the transfers, you ended up being one hundred forty five thousand two oh eight better than budgeted because you had actually budgeted to be two twenty nine. 025 and then 199 025 to the good which ended up at 344 233 so 145,000 better bunch more pages from 42 on uh, having to do with with the pensions and the OPEB meaning the uh, health insurance that you're uh, responsible for um, that runs all the way through page 47 in the supplementary information <clears throat> are those non-major funds. Page uh, 40. Stay. Forty-nine shows the net change in fund balance at the bottom. You know, all of those lost some money, but these funds have a whole lot to do with timing especially LGEA and the road fund, mm -hmm. because a lot of times, you know, you receive those funds in one year, but then you save it up and, you know, actually expend it in a different year. Because if you look, um, if you look on page 48, the page before, all of those are still, you know, very adequately funded in terms of, uh, of cash. You know, altogether, <clears throat> those have uh, almost $400,000 in cash. So, even though they even though they show losses this year, it's it's primarily from timing. Especially road money, you get it one year, spend it the next. Um, Fifty just breaks down the charges for services on proprietary funds. <clears throat> Pages 51 and 52 are the report on uh, uh, implied, compliance and <coughs> compliance and internal controls, and basically this one is is perfectly clean this year we didn't have we didn't have that finding on tourism so we really didn't have any findings at all on this one okay so any questions sounds like we had a good year then we did have a good year watch the money pretty well yeah hope, hope the upcoming one can uh -huh. find a way to make the upcoming one work well we may be in better position than some i don't Oh, there's no doubt you're better business than some. You know, there's some we deal with that just barely hang on. Well, one thing that will help us too, we do not have a tax revenue off of uh, occupational tax in right. the city. So that being down is not going to affect us like it will some. Right. Of course, the restaurant tax is probably affected oh, yeah. soon. Absolutely. And we won't know the extent of that until actually June. Right. Okay, anybody have any questions for today? No. Do you have any comments or suggestions for us for the coming year? No, I think you just need, need to keep doing what you're doing. All right, well, we appreciate it very much. Mary, okay. Larry, do you have any questions? Okay, Dan, I appreciate you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you for Thank you. working with us tonight. Okay, bye. Take care. It sounds like we had a good audit. Yeah, that's that a, I'm really make you proud. Really pleased. Well, we've got a we have a crew, two of them sitting here tonight. Three or four of them sitting here tonight that make sure we do that. So I can't say enough about our employees and what they do as far as watching the dollars. We, do we have to accept this? Uh, we'll need a motion to accept this auditor's report. I make the motion that we Accept the audit report. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? 
Those in favor signify with aye. Opposed, aye. same. <coughs> Motion passes. Justin, you're our only visitor. Do you have any <laughs> comments or questions? I'm good. Okay. I guess at this time we'll entertain a motion to go into closed session. I know we have property acquisition and personnel issues and a possible litigation issue. We have all three of them to cover today. So. Do we go in closed session? Dustin, will this continue when we come back on Friday? I will have to stop unless you all are going to have a short one. <laughs> Sounds like unlikely. Unlikely. I'm afraid not. But we'll stop and then we'll come back. Whenever y'all come back, we'll fire it up for okay. a couple minutes and then come back and open session. All right. Folks, we'll be back with you in shortly. Okay, we're ready. We're good to go. Can we move back to open session? Second. Okay, we have a motion a second to go back to open session. Open session. Uh, those in favor signify that. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Okay, back up to the uh, old business item number one, the drilling of the new well. We were going to table until next month. Is that correct? Does any other discussion need to be on it? We're, we're tabling it until next month. Correct. Well, it was on the agenda, so I wanted to cover it. Uh, then under new business, first item is to approve the first reading of the 2020-2021 budget. I make a motion we accept the first reading of 2021 budget. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? And just so everyone's aware, this will be the first reading. Changes can be made, and we'll have a second reading on it next month before it's finalized. So, okay, being no further discussion, those in favor signify with aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. And we do need to go back and clean up an issue on the two police officers. We need to uh, amend those motions to include the pay rate, the starting pay rate on that. We need to amend that what? motion to have their starting pay with seventeen dollars. Both for each one each. Second. Can we have a motion and second? Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Does anyone have anything else to bring up tonight? Entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion, we adjourn. Second. Thank you all very much. Have a good evening.